Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the devlog. So to start off with, I started writing some uh, code for the game management, but I'll get to that in a bit. For right now, uh, I realize that map uh, has varying textures. So instead of individually sending the textures for each item in the map, I just got a brand new map and then uh, adjusted it so it works well with the game. It turns out I was actually rotated the other way, so that took a while. The trees didn't seem to import properly, so I just removed them. And yeah, now back to writing the game management system. Hello everyone, this is still the devlog, but I wanted to focus more on uh, making the generator for the crawlers in the toolbox. So I'm going to go into a little bit, to a little bit more detail on how it's done and um, how I do it. So first I start off by uh, dragging um, a toolbox here so we can see how it's positioned inside the world. Uh, I already have a set of loot boxes or loot crates uh, available in the game manager here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set two uh, values for the start and end. This is already predetermined by just looking at the world and uh, using a game object to check uh, or to see where I want to start and end. Now the Y value of this doesn't really matter uh, since we'll be adding our own Y values. To start off with, I create a new public, uh, public function, spawn. In spawn, what we do is we're gonna um, uh, make, let's say about 5,000 or so, or not 5,000, 1,000 or so loot boxes. So we're gonna do that. That's in a thousand I plus plus. And for each one, we're gonna start off with a new transform. Uh, new loot box equals. We're gonna take uh, the loot crates and we're gonna make a random one. We're gonna take a random one up, not random dot range. And this will be from zero to the amount of loot crates there are, minus one for indexes. So we have a random loot crate. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make the transform of this new box. So parent into the game object. So transform. And finally, we're gonna set the position and rotation of this a new vector three. Uh, let me just bring this down here to make some room. So this vector three is going to be uh, the x-axis. So we're going to start with uh, start dot x, and we want start or end dot x. We want to lerp between them. So we're using mathf dot lerp start and end. And we're just going to use a random range. So 0 to 100 divided by 100. And that should work. So we're going to repeat that for x and y. Sorry, y and z. Y. Repeat that for z. And finally, we're just going to add a new. Uh, angle which will be zero 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 and we can change this if needed and if we run this function at the very start it should spawn in about a thousand loot crates randomly scattered across the world let's try it out if we look at the game manager we will see if there's a Okay, so I realized I haven't actually made a clone of this. So let me do that real quick. And hopefully that works. Go to scenes and look at a random one. Hopefully they don't appear in the same position. 
Unfortunately, they seem to be in the same position. So after a bit of debugging, I realized the problem with my code was I didn't actually use float floating point values for this. So uh, this has kind of been for nothing. So yeah. Uh, but after I did use floating point values, like uh, so here, I should be able to get a script that will randomly spawn boxes. Okay, so let's test it out. And there we go. Well, it appears I might need to work up with their positions a bit more, but let's see how like it was 13.3. That's interesting. But yeah, I hope uh, that has been insightful into learning more about how I write the code. Okay, so it's been a while since I uploaded the devlog and that's mostly because I've been working on the game instead of uploading devlogs. The problem with this is that I haven't been recording at all recently, so I don't have a lot of footage to work off of. Now this is me just improving the crawler model so you can have some background footage. But yeah, that's basically one of the only few footage that I have. Um, as of right now, what I did is I implemented a new sound system. I spawned uh, crawlers randomly, I spawned loot boxes randomly, I did player health, I did a huge overhaul with everything. And yeah, the game's looking pretty good to be able to publish within the end of the month. So I hope you guys stay tuned.